Hello and welcome to the full video tutorial of the Work Calendar Tracker Spreadsheet. In this video, we're going to go through in detail how to set up and use the spreadsheet throughout the year to track the type of days you're having uh, throughout the year. So to give you a quick overview, uh, the left section has all the different months uh, as well as the days of those months that you're going to enter in your ultimate uh, letter codes into, which we'll get into a little bit later. You have an analysis section that's going to break down each type of day that you might be having, how many of those you had, and then as a percent uh, breakdown showing you for each of those types of days. And then you have a holiday schedule over here where you can enter in your work's holiday schedule uh, just to help you have that at a quick glance. Uh, and then the number of vacation days you're allowed, personal days you're allowed, sick days you're allowed. And then there's some uh, calculations going down on down at the bottom. They're going to give you some metrics to track um, the type of year you're having throughout the year. Uh, so to start out, you're going to enter in your work holiday schedule. And uh, for a as an example, I'll enter in a couple of days, um, but you certainly might have more than this. So we'll just do New Year's and Thanksgiving. And then what you're going to do to make sure that that's reflected on the calendar on the left hand side, you want to enter in an H for holiday for each of those days you entered. So 1-1 one, one, and 11-25. So we'll enter in that in here and we can see that those are going to automatically calculate or populate as green and they're going to calculate over here to show you that you have uh, based on today's date of September 11th, you have one holiday remaining and one of those holidays has already taken place which would be New Year's. And then you're going to enter in the number of vacation days you're allowed number of personal days you're allowed, and number of sick days you're allowed. And you'll see these automatically populate to show you how many vacation days you have remaining, personal days remaining, and sick days remaining. As you enter in those uh, days in the calendar over here, it's going to subtract those out for you. So then throughout the year, you just need to enter in the appropriate letter code based on the day you have. So weekends will typically just be off, which you can see here, no work or weekend is off. Uh, work day is WD, so we'll enter in normal work days. We can see those are automatically calculating and populating over here. And then just for a couple of examples, we'll enter in some full vacation days, some full personal days, and some full sick days. So throughout the year, as you enter in those letter codes, everything will automatically populate over here, giving you that total absolute value, and then also a percent breakdown for each type of day. And then the analytics section, you can see the total number of days remaining in the year, which today is September 11th. So there's 112 days remaining in the year. We've already completed 253 days. Um, there's been five total working days, 10 total non-working days. Um, and you have 13 vacation days remaining because you started with 15, you used two of those. And then you have four personal days, three sick days, and one holiday remaining. Thank you for watching, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions.